Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. If you're new, my name's Patrick. For the rest of you, 240 crew, what up? Welcome to another episode. Say a big shout out to the 329 of us now that there are. We are very close to a third of the way to getting t-shirts. So thank you very much for subscribing. If you haven't, now is a very good opportunity to smash the subscribe button. We have a lot of things coming up. First today though, we are going to do a little factory versus OEM ball joint comparison. All right, let's get started. Okay, so last time we were underneath the car, we had just finished doing virtually all of the front suspension. I had made the comment though at the end of the video that I still needed to do the ball joints. There were a whole bunch of different options, but many of them were either out of stock or not available to ship for some reason or another. And then I came across Factory Originals and when I went to purchase them, a little notification came up that you could get the OEM for a substantial savings. So I kind of would like to know what the difference is between the two. I ordered one of each and let's take a few minutes before we install them and compare what we got. Factory Original came in at $86.49. The OEM came in at $37.89. The first and most obvious difference right out of the box is that each ball joint comes with different hardware. Factory Original comes with four crown nuts and four smaller mounting bolts. The OEM comes with three bolts, three washers, and four lock nuts. Our factory original comes in at 658 grams. The OEM comes in at 662 grams. Our factory ball joint comes in at 10.08, somewhere in between 10.08 and 10.09 millimeters. Our OEM ball joint, it comes in at 9.52 millimeters. Another real noticeable difference on the bottom of the ball joints is the finish quality of the factory versus the OEM. The factory is finished off a lot better. I'll try to get in close. I don't know how well that's going to show up for you. Uh, it's the yellow zinc coated bottom and just the edges all the way around are a lot cleaner. The OEM doesn't appear to be yellow zinc coated. And if you can see it, there's some grease marks right where it all comes together. And the finish lines on the outside just aren't quite as nice. The last thing is probably the fit and finish of the retaining rings. The OEM isn't finished as nice and doesn't appear to be coated where the factory original is a lot more exact where it comes together and is coated and red. Overall, I'd say they both feel like, okay, nice parts. Uh, the factory just feels a little better. straightforward. We just have three 18 millimeter nuts on the bottom and then we have four 10 millimeter bolts that hold the ball joint to the bottom of the strut assembly. So let's go ahead and take those off.
After installing both, I would say the factory replacement was probably the better option to go with. While they both will probably perform and do the job just fine, the factory did have a much nicer finish to it, and it seemed that the hardware that was included was more appropriate for the project at hand. All right, so if you've made it this far, why not smash that subscribe button? If you needed some incentive, the coming weeks, we have to get cracking. We have a lot of projects to do. A little bit of what we have coming up before we can start going on these adventures that I keep talking about. Emergency brakes, we want to put in uh, new pads and hardware and cables. We still need to replace these dust shields on the rear axle along with the rear wheel bearings. Also need to take a look at our brake junction box, this little devil that we have here. Do we gotta replace our rear main seal and the bearing for the center support and the seals at both ends and the little bearing uh, for the tailstock of the uh, transmission. We have a fun little uh, original Volvo part to put in. This is an original transmission oil cooler from way back in the day. We're going to install that with new transmission cooling lines and a new radiator. And then we still have to do this dreaded uh, heater core and blower fan. That's our little fall sneak peek for you. Uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode.